Bernie Grant was born in Guyana in 1944. We lived with Uncle Basil for a while, while, while our parents were teaching in Georgetown. And he and his um, cronies, I suppose you could call them, they would sit around playing bridge all night. And, and they'd really argue. And we'd sit there as, 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 as youngsters growing up and listen to these guys uh, um, just, just argue and, and drink rum and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and eat and so on. I think all that would have helped to influence what, uh, what Bernie <laughs> turned out to be. Grant's career in Guyanese politics came to a sharp halt in 1963. Age 19, his mother brought him to London to live with her and younger sister Rosamond. She recalls how difficult it was to acclimatise. It was a bit of a culture shock, the dingy surroundings, the dismal day, you know, no green open spaces, you know, no pretty houses. Mother Lily moved the children to the leafy suburbs of North London. Grant took up A-levels at Tottenham College and became active in the student union, organising other foreign students. His skills of public performance were being nurtured in other ways too. Don't be afraid, I'm not the police. They formed a group and they would go around, a, a, a folk group, and Bernie was the sort of main, main singer. You know? They sang all the own, old Joan Bias uh, music and they sang calypsos and they'd go performing in pubs and things to earn a little bit of money. They, they were called the, the um, Guyana Bandidos. <laughs> Now, Grant had three young sons from a second marriage, and his political career was on the rise. In 1978, he was elected Labour councillor in Tottenham. During the spending cuts of the Thatcher era, Grant took over Haringey Council, becoming the first black local authority leader since the war. When I was elected last night as leader of the Labour Council, as the first black councillor, I felt that um, there, you know, this was an opportunity for. Uh, for us to put certain items on the agenda in Haringey. I first met him in, in passing at a cricket match, as a matter of fact, between our neighbouring Labour parties. But I understand that uh, when we went into field, he was very impressed by my athleticism on the boundary. Bernard Alexander Montgomery Grant has been duly elected to serve as member. Grant was elected MP. Along with the three other black MPs, it was a turning point for black representation. From Mandela to Jesse Jackson, Grant also began to build new bridges between Britain and the international community. Bernie Grant posed tough questions for which there are rarely easy answers. There's always room 
in the political process uh, for men and for women like Bernie, for men and women with, with passion and vision and with courage. By the time he died, age 56, he had earned the respect of the House of Commons. He was capable and showed it of making difficult decisions. He had the qualities to be a minister. Uh, he gave me a tougher time than almost anybody was over a particular constituency case. Um, and having decided, I, well, I might do one thing, I was well on the way to doing the other by the time he'd finished. Bernie was not only irrepressible, but also irreplaceable. I do not think there's anyone who knew Bernie. In the end, he wielded influence, if not power. His generosity. His legacy is a society that might at last be coming to terms with its diversity. The Prime Minister himself was moved to pay personal tribute. But it was a, a triumph in the end for the politics of hope. He will be greatly missed by all of us. His memory will be revered, but most important, his example will be understood.